here and I'm going to be happy here. So to sort of develop your um, college list, I would start by making a list of your numerical stats like SAT, SAT GPA, um, SAT subject scores is a thing. I don't think it really matters, but you know, try, try to fill out all the things that have numbers. You should make a list. Then when you go down the list of colleges that you want, um, see where your numbers fall in relationship to that school's major. Don't do it overall because that's one thing that trips a lot of people up. If you're going to apply to a very competitive major, you want to make sure that you're within the bounds for that major, not within the school. Because a school might be a little more lenient, but your major, you should that should be a very good indication of what sort of tier you're at in terms of your reach, target, or safety. So find colleges where you're either in the middle 50% or the top 25. You can be in the low 25, that's, that's a reach obviously, but you know, safeties you'll usually be in the top 25, targets you'll be in the middle, even reaches you might be in the middle, and then you know, sort of uh, reaches will be in like the lower 25%. So if I had an example, um, we can just do if, let's say person A has a 1460 SAT score and a 3.8 GPA. So what they would do is they would go through the school, let's say they want to apply pre-med, because that's a pretty big, that's a pretty popular sort of major to go for. They would go to all of the schools they want to go to. So let's say, you know, Wash U, RPI, and um, University of Arizona, let's say. So they would go and they would sort of see in, the, in their biology or biochemistry program or whatever pre-med major you sort of want to specialize in, um, you sort of see what the mid-ranges are. And you know, the mid-ranges are going to be from either like maybe 1390 to 1490. See if you fall within that. If you do, that's a good start. And keep going from there. As much as met, sorry, as much numerical stats as you have, um, just keep looking and searching for it. And then the last thing I sort of want to talk about are online tools for um, for sort of helping you through the process. So if you've already, if you're a senior and you've taken the SAT or the ACT, you probably know about Reddit. Reddit has a really good community for online, uh, for ACT and SAT test takers that they're sort of planning to, you know, they can, they can talk about it with people online. Um, Reddit has great communities for colleges. There's r slash chance me. Um, there's r slash applying to college. Um, just a lot of ones, r slash engineering, r slash pre-med, you know, join all of them, but take everything you hear on the internet with a grain of salt. You know, one thing I did was when I was going through the process, maybe a week before um, <clears throat> excuse me, early decisions came out, is I would I would go on Reddit and I would go to r, r slash chance me and all of the stats would just be just insanely high. I, they would be insanely high or insanely low. And there's not a lot of middle ground that sort of happens on these online sites. Either they're trying to get the confidence to apply to the colleges that they need to and they just need a little bit of motivation to get going, or, they, or they're so, so far up there that they just want people to tell them that they're so far up there. So, you know, take everything you can with a, with a grain of salt on Reddit. Um, there are a lot of trolls on the internet. Um, and a lot of times people will actually dumb down their stats so that when they get into like a great college, then um, then it sounds like, oh, their essays were so good and they were just, um, you know, it provides, it gives you a little bit of hope, but, you know, make sure that you sort of understand exactly what you're putting out there, what is being put out there and sort of calibrate according to that. So another is College Confidential. This is more, it is only for college, whereas Reddit is for like any sort of community that you wanna go into. Um, College Confidential is quite toxic, I think. Um, if you don't have a chance, you know, people will come at you in all caps lock and be like, hey, you have no chance here, you know, get out, like save some space for us that actually have a chance. I think it's not the greatest um, if you want to do it. They're brutally honest. So if you're looking for that, you know, get on there. But like I said, Reddit, a lot of trolls. Um, just basically the day before decisions come out, it's always really, really busy. Just people saying like, hey, chance me, chance me. So those are just like the online tools that they have. Um, another one, you can always find these online ones that are like um, 
college acceptance calculators where you can put in your stats. It's a purely stat based thing, but that's also a good way to sort of get your college list um, sort of going. So that is what I had. What I'll do is I'll go sort of to the US, I'll go to like a ranking and then just sort of sort of show how you should sort of go about this. So let me stop sharing. Um, one second. So hopefully you can see my screen. This is basically how I went about developing my college list. So I'll go to undergrad engineering programs. I didn't, I tried to refrain from using US news, but um, probably the one that's the most like known, like well known basically. So I'll just sort of go through it. So here in this top, um, in this top sort of 10, or so I picked I picked two schools so I actually I picked three so I picked Purdue I picked Cornell and I picked U Michigan I didn't apply to any of these other ones um in the early round I was obviously you know UCs I would do because I'm, I'm from California but the other ones I sort of said I'll save it for the back burner um if I need to so you pick three schools in there and then you sort of go down and you see okay so 10 through 25 just look through them and then pick the ones. So if I go down, so here, so 22, so you would pick maybe three or four. So here we go. So Duke, I did, I did UCLA because I applied to UCs. Um, I picked Rice because both of my parents went there. And then I picked University of Wisconsin-Madison because the stats sort of fell so that it was considered a target or a safety for me. So that was, that was very good. And then you sort of go to the top. Okay, so now I can go down, and now I went pretty far down to sort of find a a safety for me. So here we go. So here we go. So this is sort of where I started my safety search, 30 to 50 range for me. So I went, RPI was a target slash safety. Um, you know, engineering, this is where it sort of um, feels kind of weird because Yale is obviously a very it's a top university you know people talk about it like oh ivy league but here it is 32 in engineering program so you have to look at major specifically yale engineering is a little bit on the lower side compared to yale law or yale humanities so you need to you need to look same with brown brown engineering will be a little bit lower than brown sort of humanities or um or even like science or psychology now we go down and then and you just you just keep sort of repeating this until you find schools that you really like. The other safety I had was Colorado School of Mines. Um, I really liked applying here because it sort of went on a rolling basis, so I could just apply at the very beginning of September, get a d result by around early November even, and then I knew that I was going to go to college. So it sort of took the pressure off. Also, the more safeties you apply to early, the the less you'll sort of have to worry about later because if you find a safety that you really like there's no point in applying to more than one safety if you've already gotten in it's more for reaches so then i just kept going down and then finding schools that i liked uh their values um even like aesthetic aesthetic wise you know campus dorm life um i really liked the the four-year guaranteed housing you know i didn't get it eventually but that was a very cool thing. I did University of Arizona mostly because of their, you know, their computer science labs and their professors. And then you just keep going down and you just find schools that make sense.